Hi everyone, how's it going? I'm Marla. We're here to talk about security. We are gonna discuss why securing your data and your customers' data is paramount. And then I'll give you three steps you can use to keep your data secure, saving on costs and improving productivity and efficiency with a few examples of how we do it at Salesforce. You ready? Let's dive in. Welcome to Salesforce on Salesforce, an inside look at our sales, service, marketing, and IT businesses with helpful how-to steps you can use for your business. For IT professionals, we'll have steps that can help businesses save on costs with automation, be more efficient with productivity tools, and so much more. As always, you can continue learning on Trailhead, Salesforce's online learning platform for more information on this topic and many others you might find useful for your business. At Salesforce, we build all of our products with a trust-first mindset. Trust is our number one value, and it has been since the earliest days of our company. You trust us to build a secure platform that you can use to help you personalize the best customer experience and deliver the best customer support according to your company objectives. And in return, your customers trust you to keep any personal or protected information safe and sound. Protecting your customers' data can help you on your compliance journey, leaving you free to focus on other key initiatives. So how do we help you instill trust and stay secure? Well, it's through our shared responsibility model. Essentially, this would be similar to us building you a state-of-the-art security system to help protect your home, but if you leave your house key under the doormat or you forget to lock your door, you increase your risk or exposure. In practice, our shared responsibility model means that at Salesforce, we understand the importance of adopting industry-leading security practice, such as zero trust mindset, and the technology needed to help protect customers' data. In turn, our customers apply permissions, accesses, and controls that make the most sense for their business. But protecting your home at Salesforce is easier than you think. So here's our three recommended steps on how to begin your enterprise's security journey. Step one, understand your data. Chances are you have a lot of data flowing in and out of different systems, including Salesforce. And when you're working with partners, multiple Salesforce orgs, or any legacy systems, you might not realize who has access or what types of information are being stored where. On the security team at Salesforce, we love being over planners. Understanding our data can help us reduce risks down the road, like hefty regulatory fines handed down all because of a simple mistake that could have been avoided. So talk to your internal teams and map out where all of your data lives and how it's being used. You want to assess how secure your data is with products like Security Health Check that compare your security health to our standard baseline to get you started right away. But if you're in a more regulated industry, that baseline might not be sufficient. In this case, a product like Shieldfill Audit Trail can allow you to access historical audit information at scale so you know who is accessing your data and when data changes, helping give you a real-time pulse on your Salesforce org. The key to understanding your data is that no matter where you or your company is in your security journey, taking a day or two to do an inventory of your assets and data flows, both in and out of Salesforce, is a great way to get started. Step two, protect your data. Once you have a better idea of your data flows, your users, your systems, you can now begin to address any unmet needs, like any old Salesforce orgs you're no longer using or inactive users with licenses that are still active. The majority of our programs, measures, and controls focus on fundamental security practices. One such practice is the widespread adoption of multi-factor authentication, or MFA for short. For example, we employ MFA for every single one of our more than 60,000 employees at Salesforce. We often find that customers think their security posture, which is just a fancy way of saying your organization's internal approach towards security, is good enough but they actually end up spending so much time addressing users' current needs, like granting permissions or offboarding users, instead of allocating time to future events that bear greater cost implications, like finding sensitive customer information in an unencrypted field. Products like Shield Data Detect help our customers automatically identify and classify sensitive data, like customers' credit cards numbers sitting in the wrong place. Because in the chance that information does end up where it's not supposed to be, you want to do something about it ASAP to help you comply with the latest laws in your industry. According to the UN, there are over 240 global regulations 
each one with its own set of guidelines and laws in place to help protect consumer privacy. From GDPR to CCPA, to insert new acronym here, it can be daunting to keep up with all those laws and auditing your data to ensure you are compliant, especially if your business operates in multiple locations. Compliance is always top of mind for us at Salesforce. We have a team of security and privacy experts across the world dedicated to helping our company comply with the latest regulations. At Salesforce, we use a product called Privacy Center to help maintain compliance year round with applicable regulations. And for developers out there, we have a product called Data Mask, which helps you mask sensitive data in sandbox environments. So you're already ahead of the compliance game by enabling your devs to work with realistic data while eliminating much of the risks that comes with using real world data. Compliance is like insurance. It can be costly if you don't use it, but you really don't want to be without it in the off chance that you do need it. Because not complying with regulations is often two times as expensive as everyday compliance. Going back to our home security analogy, this is similar to paying for everyday homeowner's insurance, which isn't free, but the cost of your items getting stolen or someone breaking in is much worse than whatever your monthly payment might be. Step three, monitor your data. Now that you understand where there are potential vulnerabilities in your data, and you've put active measures in place to help protect it in a compliant way, this step is about how to regularly monitor your data. Earlier, we mentioned the importance of having a security posture. And at Salesforce, we constantly evaluate our security posture by testing our security controls and processes on a regular basis. Monitoring our data means regularly testing our code and alerting our Salesforce Security Response Center to any known threats. We also regularly conduct penetration tests. You can think of these tests as simulations that mimic bad actors, like a breach or a general system stress test to ensure that our systems are up to code, pun intended. We take these extra measures because customer data is incredibly valuable and expensive if it ends up in the wrong hands. We talked about the cost savings from complying with third-party regulations and laws, but did you know that the average cost of a data breach worldwide is nearly $4 million. And that's only in response to a data breach. That figure is significantly higher when you factor in customer trust and any future revenue impacted as a result of that lost trust. In addition to stress testing our systems, we're also monitoring re them regularly to look out for anomalies and known threats. With a company of our size, we have policies in place for how data can be exported and how much. Or if our apps aren't performing regularly because of some unforeseen event, we can send real-time alerts so that we can troubleshoot and inspect any potential risks. Products like Shield Event Monitoring help our customers when you want to see what the most frequently accessed reports or objects are, or how long it takes your pages to load. Because customer trust is not only relevant when keeping their data safe, it also matters when building reliable, powerful customer experiences that differentiate your business. Lastly, a lot of our customers, like us, are using multiple orgs, and it's hard to get a full picture into your security policies and your key metrics across a large enterprise, especially if you're using different admins or teams across each org. Our product security center is an awesome way to apply consistent policies across all of your users and see all of your security controls in one place. Security center also helps you maintain your compliance policies across your entire organization, allowing departments to easily collaborate while making a big impact. Compliance, consistency, and collaboration. What's not to love? And there you have it. Three recommended steps to help you develop your security and compliance journey by understanding, protecting, and monitoring your data. Check out salesforce.com slash platform to dig into more about our security products and be sure to watch the other episodes in this series to learn how we at Salesforce run our business with helpful, honest tips you can use for yours. We'll see you next time.